Have you always lived here in Rome? Yes. Okay. Could you tell me how your family ended up here in Rome? We've always lived here. I mean, born and raised. My okay. mom and dad and grandmother and grandfather. Okay. All righty. I'm not from Rome. I live um, in Somerville now, but I'm originally from a super, super small town over in Alabama. Um, to this day, we do not have a traffic light. Um, we have, um, or when I was there, we had one police officer. So, um Anyway, I think they might, might have bumped that up to two now for day and night shift. <laughs> anyway, um, so um, I live in Somerville now, and um, I'm a renter, so I rent our home. Um, and our home is a, a brick a brick house, kind of ranch style. Um, so would you mind telling me a little bit about what type of home you live in? I, have, I live in a single-family home. Um, Lived there for 23 years. Bought it when I was 24. Um, it's just about paid for now. Oh, right? good deal. <laughs> and uh, I've remodeled it, you know. Okay. Um, okay. Good. All right. Um, so you said you've owned it for 23 years. Mm -hmm. So I guess you moved in 23 years ago. It's 24. Oh, 24. Okay, 24 years ago. Okay. Um, so, you said that you've done some remodeling on it. Do you have a rooftop solar for your home? No. Okay. All right. Um, why do you not have rooftop solar in your home? And did you make that decision, or was that something that was made for you? Well, actually, I made that decision, and I didn't know it was offered at the time. And I thought that it was, like, very expensive. Okay. All right. Um if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? If I had the option, yes. Okay, why? Because, number one, if something happened and the lights go out, you still have lights. <laughs> and, like, if anything happened besides that, say, um, an outage for a week or whatever, if, you know, if it happened like that, you would still have lights. Mm -hmm. Nobody else would, but you would. You'd have a lot of people coming to your house, Yes, huh? and you wouldn't have to have, um, what do you call it, the um, generator. Okay. So. Okay. Very good. All right. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit about rooftop solar adoption in general. So, Here's a map of the United States, and you've got a pen there. Um, where do you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes, and could you draw that on the map for me? I'm going to say in the middle. Okay. All right, so kind of Midwest. Okay. Yeah. Um, what do you think makes this community different um, from the people here in Rome? This community here? Or, or this, that? this community. What makes that well, area different from the people here in Rome? I think it's um, more rural. I mean, rural. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I think it's a lot of flat lands. I don't think it's like any mountains, you know, like we have. Um, I mean, Rome does have some, you know, some rural areas, but I just, that's just my opinion. I've okay. never been to the Midwest, not right. in the middle. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to talk about Georgia. So, there's a map of Georgia there for you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and in what community here do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their homes? I'm going to say closer to um, Plainsville. And the only reason why I say that on Plainsville Road is because the people across, uh, right up from the animal clinic... They have the solar rooftop. So. Okay. Is, where is Plainsville? Is that? Um, it's like going out 53, uh -huh. and you pass the second store past 140. Okay. And you come to the turning lane, turn to your left. That's Plainsville Road. Okay. So you're probably it's thinking, right before you get to Calhoun? Yes. Is that right? Okay. Way before. Okay, you're so you're still in Rome, actually, Floyd County. Okay, it's just past where you go to turn to 140 to go to Adairsville. Uh -huh. You're gonna keep straight, and then you're gonna take the next turning lane to the left. Okay, I'll have to look once I'm out that way because I, yeah, I drive Dr. that way. Doctor McKinney. Okay. And that the animal clinics out that way, but yeah, okay. they have solar panels. Okay. And so that's the area that you think out of that's, all Georgia that you kind of, and there's no right or wrong answer. So this is all just your opinion. I think so. so okay. That's my opinion. I hadn't really, and that was in Incusa. 
uh, the brick place mm -hmm. out uh, off Turner Bend mm -hmm. across from Coosa High School. Right there, they have all solar. And that's just kind of popped up. I guess I don't go out it's that way that, that much, way but I've, yeah, I have it's noticed been there. It. Yeah, those yeah. are the only two places I've actually witnessed. But, uh -huh. Yeah, so. I have it. Okay. All right, well, tell me why you think people here in Rome have the most uh, solar on their rooftops. I think it probably saves them money than, like, paying Georgia Power. Um, it's a lot of benefits that... Um, it's God sent. Right. <laughs> I mean, and um, it's probably better for the, for, I mean, you know, the world period. Okay. Than all of the coal, because I noticed Georgia Power is getting away from the coal. They're going to, what, hydro and gas. Gotcha. Because of that. Right. Okay. Um, well, what about most of your close friends here in Georgia? Do they have solar on their roof? No. Why do you think they don't? I think probably because they don't know enough about it to get it. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No. No. Okay. No. All right.